Hey, this is Class Creatives. In this video, we'll discuss how to import and export animations to and from Unreal with the Mannequins Rig with Advanced Skeleton Auto Rigging Plugin with Autodesk Maya for your Unreal projects. We will also cover the process to import and export facial and body animations for MetaHumans Rig with Advanced Skeleton. In this video, we'll discuss how to export animations from Unreal and import them to Autodesk Maya for further customization as well as how to export animations rigged with Advanced Skeleton from Autodesk Maya to Unreal. This workflow will allow you to utilize animations downloaded or purchased in the Unreal Marketplace library that utilize the Mannequin Skeleton hierarchy for use in your Maya-based Unreal projects. If you are unfamiliar with Epic's art tools and Advanced Skeleton, and you want to know how to rig your Unreal mannequins, as well as the advantages and disadvantages of each tool, be sure to check out our previous video where we go into the rigging process in more detail. We'll have a link for you in the description for that video. To export animations from Unreal to Maya, simply right click the animation asset, select Asset Actions, Export. Keep the default name or rename the export, choose your export settings if necessary, and click the Export button. The process is identical if you wish to export Unreal 5 mannequins so that you can import the animation assets inside of Maya with Advanced Skeleton. We'll have more on that import process later. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Character animation fundamentals teach the importance of video reference to bring characters to life utilizing Autodesk Maya and Unreal Engine. Learn professional workflows such as 3D character modeling utilizing industry standard software such as ZBrush, Autodesk Maya, and Substance Painter. The entire character design workflow is covered from start to finish in their masterclass offerings. Extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all of your project needs. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. To import your animations to Autodesk Maya, the process is very straightforward and not much different than if you were to export out with an Art Tools rig character or any other Unreal rig character for animation. You can utilize the import options in Advanced Skeleton by clicking on the picker on the shelf editor. From there, go to the Anim menu dropdown and select Mocap Library. In the Motion Capture Custom section, click Browse and select the exported animation that we exported from Unreal Engine. In my case, it'll be the walk cycle. Click Apply. We'll see the animation applied to the rig. The final step will be to go to the Edit section and click on Bake Animation. This will then bake the animation to the controllers of our rig which we can then edit and animate inside of Autodesk Maya to our liking. To export your animations to the Unreal Engine, the process is very straightforward and not much different than if you were to export out with an Art Tools rig character or any other Unreal rig character for animation. For this video, we'll cover the game exporter since it allows a lot of flexibility and multiple animation export ability. Open the outliner, select the root of the character, go to File, Game Exporter, Browse to Animation Clips, and be sure to set your export to selection so that it will only export from what we have selected in the outliner. Click the plus icon and name the animation. Under settings, you can select your FBX and other additional settings. Choose the file path of your animation and click the export button. Once we have the animation exported out of Maya, simply drag and drop the animation FBX to your Unreal project. Select the skeleton in the dropdown and your animation is now working inside of the Unreal Engine with the appropriate mannequin skeleton. The export-import process for the Unreal 5 mannequins is identical to the UE4 mannequin process. However, you will have to make sure you have rigged your Unreal Manny or Quinn Mesh in Autodesk Maya using the UE5 template. If you'd like to see how to do that, be sure to check out our video on how to rig the Unreal mannequins. We'll have a link in the description in case you want to review those steps. Once you have imported your animation via the mocap library and exported your animation, Simply import the exported animation to Unreal, select the UE5 skeleton, and you'll be able to see your animation working inside of Unreal. Choose Manny as the preview skeletal mesh if you wish to use him instead of the Quinn mesh for your project. An important workflow for game animations is root motion. Root motion is necessary if you want to animate your character walking forward in space, or if an attack animation has the character's feet stepping forward and you want to control these forward movements in the engine. Animators will often opt to animate characters moving forward while animating in Maya to convey more accurate weight shifts. 
To export a character with root motion for Unreal, select the character's root bone. You notice that by default this bone does not move with the character. In order for us to enable root motion, the root bone must follow the character's forward and translation movements. A quick way to enable this is to have the bone follow the character's root controller. In our example, we are going to use a free tool called AnimSnap. Make the character's root controller the parent and the root bone the slave. Uncheck Maintain Offset, which will force the root bone to follow the root controller. And select Translations Only, since we won't need rotations of the root included in the snapping. Once you run the tool, you'll notice that the root bone is now following the character. However, by default, the root bone will be off in the height, so a simple fix for this is to use the graph editor and set the first key of all the snap keys on the root bone to zero. This will have the root bone height at the correct desired target that we want to import to Unreal. Export the animation with the game exporter, import your character to Unreal, and you will now be able to turn on and off root motion on your animation so that you can control the character's forward movements inside the engine. MetaHumans can also be rigged with Advanced Skeleton. Export your MetaHuman via the Quixel Bridge standalone app. If you are unfamiliar with this process, be sure to check out our video on the full MetaHuman Animator workflow. We'll have a link in the cards of this video for that. Once you have your MetaHuman exported into Maya, it will be set to default Z up. Launch Advanced Skeleton from your shelf and click the Name Matcher tool and be sure that your template is set to MetaHuman. Click Create, Place Fit Skeleton, click Build Advanced Skeleton, and then Constrain to Joints. Once this finishes, under the Model section of the Advanced Skeleton GUI, uncheck the Z Up axis. This will set the rig to Y Up, which will allow us to import animation to the body. You might notice that your facial controls are still set on the Z axis on the GUI. Select Follow Head and set it to 1 in the Attribute Editor to have the face controls follow the body in Y Up. To import body animation, launch the picker, go to mocap library, and select your exported animation. Note that for the animations to work on the MetaHuman rig, the body movements must be utilizing the UE5 mannequin animations. If you need UE4 animations, you will need to retarget them to the UE5 mannequin. Advanced Skeleton may implement more options for this in the future, so stay tuned for updates. Export your animation sequence from Unreal just as you would any other animation from Unreal. To import facial animation exported out of Unreal Engine, simply drag your exported facial animation from Unreal into Maya. Once the animation is imported, you will notice that the animation import was successful when you see the root bones populated in the outliner. Once this is finished, launch the picker and select Anim MetaHuman Animator and your animation will be applied to the facial controls of the MetaHuman rig. You will now be able to clean up the motion capture inside of your Maya to your liking. Once you have imported your facial animation and applied it to your advanced skeleton curves, if you want to also apply body animation to your advanced skeleton metahuman, you'll need to delete or rename the root node containing your imported facial animation from the outliner. This will allow you to import your facial animation from the mocap library. Additionally, another way to import your body animation is with the atom feature. If you notice that you cannot import your body animation after importing the metahuman facial animation, a simple workaround is to utilize the Atom Animation feature. Once your body animation has been imported onto your MetaHuman rig with Advanced Skeleton, select all of your body controls in the Advanced Skeleton GUI, browse to File, Atom, Export Animation, and create an Atom file of the body animation. Open your facial animation file with the MetaHuman facial animation applied, select all of your body controls in the Advanced Skeleton GUI, browse to File, Atom Import Animation, select your exported Atom Body Animation, and import the animation onto the character. You should now see both your idle body animation and facial animation together inside your Maya scene. To export these animations from Maya, select the root of the outliner. This will contain all of your facial animation and export the selection from the game exporter. To export the body, Follow the same steps as we exported animations from the Unreal mannequins from the game exporter previously. For this example, we will be exporting these animations with the game exporter to import into Unreal. To import these animations back to Unreal, drag your body and facial animations into Unreal, pick your skeletons for the face and the body, and your animations from Maya will be functioning in Unreal. If you have a custom mesh, you can also utilize this workflow for your Unreal projects. Note how your custom mesh is rigged for the UE4 or UE5 template. 
When prompted, select whether your custom rig mesh is rigged with the UE4 or UE5 template. In our case, we are using the UE4 template. We can utilize the same workflow we just covered with the Unreal Mannequins to import the exported animation to our custom rig asset utilizing the mocap library custom import. We can even utilize this process to bring animations onto Paragon assets and use them for our projects with full customization with Autodesk Maya. Once we have finished our changes in Maya, we can export the animation and bring them back to our Unreal project. As you can see, the walk animations are working on both our custom asset and the Paragon asset we exported from Maya. Overall, Advanced Skeleton is a great tool to import animations configured for the Unreal Mannequin Skeleton and MetaHumans to further customization in Autodesk Maya for your projects. It is currently fully supported by the developer with regular updates on their website to help future-proof this workflow. It has some slight differences to the Unreal Art tools, but is a great alternative if you need to work with Python 3 and require a version of Maya after the 2022 version. Hopefully this video is helpful as you animate your characters in Maya for your Unreal projects. Well, that about wraps up this video. Are you utilizing advanced skeleton rigs in your Unreal projects? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect!